Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Eric and today's adventure is going to be taking place at a state park called Lake Griffin State Park located in Fruitland Park, Florida. I'm going to be meeting my friend Jason over there. Um, there's a huge lake, there's a campground, I believe there's a few trails and I'm going to be on my way to display it all guys. So yeah, it's coming up next. So uh, I got my little Pikachu hat because it's a little cold today. Should warm up to like 70 today I think. No, I lied. More like 68 and then it goes right back down to the 50s and 40s tonight so anyway let's get to it all righty i believe i am arriving gonna make a right right here the there's the sign all righty <laughs> i am here i am here it's not far from my home either it's like an hour away now for jason it's more like you know it's around the corner. It doesn't live too far from here, maybe 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and check in and uh, get started. All right, so I got the uh, the maps where I'm gonna go. Gonna make a left over here. The staff was surprisingly friendly. Uh, what a nice lady, liked it. She gave me some information that I need to know. Um, so once I get to the campsite, I'm on campsite number seven and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna shoot the drone from there, show you guys the area, and uh, then I'm gonna look for the trails, and then to the lake. Alrighty, I believe I found the sites. Number seven, should be here, it's five, six, seven, there it is. I found number seven, found, found number seven. Yeah! Oh, sweet. All right, let me go in. Let me get out of the car, look around. Now, I'm going to be camping on the car tonight, so this will be the right spot for me. <laughs> uh, nothing fancy today. Um, I think last time I was camping with my friend Dow at Seminole Collier in Naples, and I camped in the car and I liked it. I'm uncomfortable here, so I'm gonna do that again tonight. Anyway, let me get out, show you guys around. Okay, so right now I'm in the campsite, obviously. I'm gonna lay the drone over here. And this is the campsite right here. Show you guys around. It's not super big, but it's enough, you know, for Jason and I. That is pretty cool. I like it. It's very cozy. Well maintained too. So uh, we're very close to the city because I mean I'm in Fruitland Park, and I saw coming in there was lots of places to go eat. Tonight we're gonna be eating dinner in one of those places. We're not gonna be cooking. Right, this is more going to be glamour camping than anything else. Anyway, let me shut up. Let me go ahead and get the drone ready. Show you guys, shoot the drone in the air so you guys can see from up in the air. And then I'm going to do like a little roundabout with the drone. You guys can see the lake and the city and all that cool stuff. Let me get to that. All right, took my jacket off. It's starting to warm up today. What I'm gonna do right now, I wanna see if I can find the uh, the trail. Fishing, if you're into that. I know it's weird, but I'm not really into fishing. Never got into it. It's not, there's nothing wrong with that. I got nothing against it. Just never got into it. I just do this stuff for the adventure itself. <laughs> my friend Jason, though, he is into fishing. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, small little basin here. Cool. Little seating arrangement in here. What is this? Do you see this on the map? Oh, okay, there's that goes. Oh, wow, look at that. So, this little portion right here of the water, right? Stops right here. 
but it's got little seating arrangements around here you know small picnics you know hanging out maybe you're on a date or something like that that's cool small little table over there you know, can have a little picnic and right now in Florida the temperature is like amazing right now it's like in this it's like in the 60s and 70s right now although it's starting to warm up I believe it's gonna be 75 today at the highest I heard in the radio but then by 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, it'll start dropping to the 50s again. <laughs> so the weather is perfect for a place like this. It really is. And look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful, man. Kind of romantic, too. I am digging this place. I was not expecting that. Oh, wait. This is the small trail. I just realized the small trail I was going to take that was on the map. This is it. <laughs> I just keep forgetting I'm not in the, in the state parks that I usually go, which is miles and miles and miles or islands that I go, had to go far. I keep forgetting this is a small state park. <laughs> yeah, but this is a small trail. And it goes back into the uh, parking space. This is it. That's very nice. Cypress trees. Flood tolerant. Cool. Oh man, what a view, man. Right here. Right here. Right here. It's the simple things in life, man. It's the simple things in life that bring happiness, truly. No lie. I'm curious now. I want to keep on going with this trail. See what I find. I am curious. I mean, it's still early. I don't have to actually jump into the boat ramp yet. It's got time. Although sun, uh, sundown is a little early today. It's around 5, 5.30, the sun starts to come down. So, uh, let me see what time it is. I just see how much I got. It's 11, it's 11, 13. I got plenty of buttload of time. Good Lord. Why am I rushing? Why am I rushing? Shouldn't be. Anyway, let me go ahead and continue. <laughs> Beautiful trail, man. And the temperature just kicks ass right now. I don't know. It's just, the temperature just makes it that better. Because it feels fresh, it feels nice. All right, cool. That's a nice little sitting arrangement. What are we looking at right here? I guess it's just a relaxing spot. Romantic. Here we go. Let's continue. Mm, some education material. Some forest grows naturally moist habitats. Oh yeah, plenty of moist here. Florida, lots of moist. Like a high school girl. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. I don't know why I like that, but the whole shape of the tree like that, that's so cool. And I believe we have more educational material over here. What we got? What we got? What is this? Resurrection Fern. I ain't gonna read it all out, but you guys can pause it if you wish to read it. After all, my videos are semi-entertaining and semi-educational. Life from the dead. Uh. Oh, it's dead, all right. That fungus and all the things that grow out of it. Moving forward. Ah, uh, so here is Spur, tr spur Trail. Got it, got it. I see. So this is the way it goes. It goes forward and it goes around. What is it, a mile and a half? Well, yeah, I can do that. That's we should be fine. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see if I can reach the very end of that of this trail, shoot the drone, because I can. And I want to. And the air is so fresh. I'm feeling good today. <laughs> I am being reminded that this is spur trail. It really is. A lot of noise over coming from with that area. It must be cleaning something. Yeah, I hear like a pressure pressure washer machine, something. They're cleaning. Cool. Alright. We continue on. Ooh, this part looks nice. Hey, I came across this. Uh, aerial gardens. Holy guacamole, look at that. Wow, what a spectacle of nature. Ooh, wow. 
color me impressed. This is nice looking. This is pretty. Generally pretty. There's some quotes right in here. You guys can pause it. Quotes by famous people, I believe. Lao Tzu. <laughs> Ted True Blood. Sounds like a Native American name. I like that. True Blood. Cool. Nice little seating arrangement here as well. Nice. Man, I'm digging this place so much. I'm gonna come here again. Yes, there is. There is a place in the Pathos Woods. Oh, yes, there is. Just stay away from the bugs. You okay? You don't wanna get bitten by some kind of poisonous, poisonous bug. Again, guys, I'm just brushing around them. You guys can pause and read if you like. Here's the last one. I'm gonna say goodbye to this beautiful spot. Super romantic, man. If you and your date are into the nature, woods, you happen to be in Florida in this area, this will be a good spot to come to. Very romantic. I'm getting like a romantic vibe out of it. I like that. Anyway, moving forward. Moving forward. It says here, trail seasonally wet. Yeah, no duh. <laughs> But thankfully they put like a little wooden pass. So that that's a huge help. I was watching somebody on, a, on one of the Facebook groups that I belong to, and she went with her family to this park not too long ago. And I was watching. It's like, and I saw this on her video. So this is cool. This is really cool. I'm loving this park. Ah, this is so cool. I'm gonna go over the water area, huh? Smart. See, these people are smart. They put the little wooden pass on top of the water don't get your feet wet <laughs> Ooh, there's a sign there you know I'm glad I took this trail oil fern get that closer you guys want to pause and read all right let me continue and see if I can reach the end of this trail I'm gonna shoot the drone from the very end look at these paths you had to like really watch where you put your foot <laughs> I got my feet wet. <laughs> I got my feet. Like you have to pay attention when you put your foot. Uh, so if you guys come this way, and this area is wet, keep your eyes down. Look exactly where your feet are at. I'm no ninja, so you know. But, uh, watch out. Anyway, let me continue. Okay, so I believe I got into the oh, the very end, the well, sort of the end, and then it goes around of the trail. There's houses right here. Look. It's like a neighborhood right there. <laughs> That's how close we are to the city. That's how close we are. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> oh, the fo I just met some folks right here, a couple, and they were having trouble walking to the trail because it's uh, a little treacherous. It really is. Anyway, let me see where I'm at. Parking area. Uh huh. See, this, this is where we're at. Right here. We are right there. So I guess I'm going back. It doesn't feel like it's that long. I don't know why. Anyway, I got promise. I'm gonna grab this drone, shoot it from here. See what it looks like. Okay, so now that I got done with the trails and all that, I'm gonna finish the end of this trail, which I believe goes into the uh, campgrounds. Go to my campground, grab my boat and stuff. I believe Jason's is there by now, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I'll be able to see him. He's gonna bring his kayak. He's gonna do some fishing. I'm gonna do some boating and adventuring. It's gonna be cool. So I'm gonna head out into uh, head back into the uh, to the campground. 
this path should take me back there. It's kind of weird walking to a trail and then, then houses, a neighborhood. <laughs> it's like we're literally right next to the neighborhood. <laughs> I, just, I just thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's continue going back. Here we go. Ha -ha. So I thought the trail would take me back to the campsite. No, it got me back to the spot. Why are we started? Good God. Well, guys, I hope you have a good day. Well, Let's see if I can actually. With you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, I am. No, no, <laughs> grateful I am. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to have to go through that pathway of water and wood and watch my step. Anyway, now I'm going back to the campsite. <laughs> so my friend Jason is already in the water, apparently. So that's his truck right there. And uh, yeah, he's already in the water in the canal. He's already out there. So I'm going to get my boat ready and catch up to him. I'm far behind. <laughs> you know, I got the boat ready right now. And I realized that I forgot the paddles, the uh, the oars, <laughs> which helped me get into land and stuff like that. However, coming over here on the trash can, I found the, two of these paddles. Thank you, God. <laughs> in case I need to actually lift the motor and move about i can use that so yeah i guess uh the lord has provided awesome all right so let me go get the boat on the water let me lock my car and then uh we're gonna start this adventure so i just spoke to one of the rangers he was giving me a few tips about the lake and he tells me that the uh, lake griffin lake is between 2.5 to 3 miles wide i had an idea i had an idea when i looked that up on google maps google maps and it's between eight to nine miles long. So this is a very, very large lake. And he tells me that this is a great destination for fishing. This, this competition fishing that goes on here and things of that nature. I just saw a gentleman that was coming out. He was testing one of the boats, making a review of it, I believe. I'm not sure if it was recording or not. Nonetheless, this lake is huge and I am so looking forward to it. And this is the little canal that will take me there. And I think this will take me to the Dead River. I think I am on the Dead River. And then it'll join into the lake. There's a bridge apparently. We'll, we'll see. I noticed that the water is really, really murky. Like really, really dark. In case you guys were wondering. <laughs> all right, out we go. You know, amongst all the things that I was doing, I forgot to read my GPS thing. Uh, anyway, I think I should be okay. I mean, it's a large lake, but I have, I don't think I'm gonna get lost. I just wanted to bring it to be safe, and I forgot it. Anyway, let me see if I can find Jason. I have no, no idea where Jason's at. What the hell is he? I'll see if I can find him. You know, I have no idea where Jason is at, but I figured this would be a good spot for me to shoot the drone in the air and let it follow me. You guys can see a different perspective. I think that, uh, yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I got some footage with the drone, me in the water with the boat. Did I have to do that? No. Did I want to? Yes. I think it makes good uh, content. <laughs> anyway, let me see if I can find my friend Jason. I don't know where he's at at all. Woohoo! Ah, man, I love this. I really enjoy doing this a lot. You know, I don't fish and I thought I just like being out here in the water doing this. It's just such a great experience. I love it. I love it. All right, let me see if I can get to the lake and perhaps find my friend Jason. I'm not sure if I'll find him. I found my friend Jason. I passed him. He was like hiding back there. Over there. Over there. All right. 
Let me go to him. So tell me about that gator you saw, man. Well, I went back to the second pond that's back in this little area here. Yeah. And the big gator is just sprawled out on the bank. <laughs> and I took a video shot. Hopefully my viewers can see him. Your viewers can see him. I'll put the him. picture up so you guys can see it. It doesn't do it any justice because he is like in the brush up on the bank. The king of the lake. King of the lake. He's easily as big as our boats. Man. And I don't feel like getting chumped, honestly. So I'm going to take his word for it. And put the picture up, you guys can see it. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Man, it's good to see you, bud. Good to see you. All right. Okay, so now that I'm caught up with my friend Jason, he's gonna go do some fishing over there. Uh, we were talking about what we're gonna go for dinner tonight. We're thinking about picking something up and then bringing it back to the campsite with a fire. I think that'll be nice to show you guys, so smoke some cigars, drink a little bit of whiskey, you know, dude stuff. <laughs> Anyway, now I'm gonna go to the lake. Here we go. Okay, so I reached the bridge that takes me to the lake, I believe. So here we go. I wonder. I wonder if I'm in the right place. I wonder if I'm in the right place. <laughs> oh, I thought this is. This is part of that. This is part of that. Part of the adventure. A lot of houses too. I'm gonna keep going forward, see if I find the lake. Yeah. Okay, so I just pulled the GPS. I still got some ways to go. Right here, in the lake. Might take me a little while. It's gonna take me a little bit, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. At least I got the GPS on my phone. Just realized that I have it. Dude, I'm not very bright sometimes. <laughs> All right. I'm not even at the lake yet, and this is huge. Wow. Look at the water, man. It's so calm. Man, my license plate wants to fly. <laughs> oh, man, what a beautiful day. It's gorgeous out here. That's the lake, here we go. Okay, I am finally reaching the lake. I'm about to turn the corner here. That's where it's supposed to be. I've been riding for about 10 minutes <laughs> to get out of that spot. This place is huge. Uh, now, if you happen to have a boat that's faster than mine, going more than 12 miles per hour, you might get there quicker. But uh, it's huge, it's big. Hey, anyway, I'm about to enter. Once I get in there, I'll show you guys around. Okay, I have you guys now on the standard um, angle because I had you guys with the wide angle earlier uh, because I want you guys to see the perspective of how big this lake is. Like, you guys are, are seeing what I am seeing. I can barely see the horizon. I mean, I see the horizon, I mean, land. <laughs> I mean, it's okay in this section because it's like three miles wide according to the park ranger, but wow. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. See some land, I can see a little bit of land. Not a whole lot. Wow, man, okay, back to what angle. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna, it'll take me about 20 minutes to reach the uh, middle, I'm not gonna lie, so yeah, let me get busy. All right. I'm gonna do a little bit of writing. Show you guys. Get another perspective. I got you guys extended. Here we go. I'm not quite there yet towards the middle of the of, of the uh, of the lake. I'm at that blue little dot. And uh it's just that the water here is like look serene like glass. Well not anymore, I created some wake. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Wow. Anyway, let me see if I can reach the middle. I still got I still got some ways to go. 
Okay, everybody, I believe I am more or less in the middle of the lake. I don't know if, you, if the camera can capture this. It should. Yeah, that little little blue dot in the middle. Yeah, I'm right in the middle of the lake. And, um, here it is. Wow, man. Besides the sound of that boat, it is quiet. It's like I just entered Narnia or something. I mean, no, that, that's not what I mean. Like I enter a different world. Wow, this is this is really cool. Like I'm I'm liking this experience a lot. Serene. There's no wind. It's quiet. Most likely in this section, I will probably turn off the music. I usually put music on the background play I'll be turning that off in this section yeah wow this is beautiful man it's like therapy for the soul it's like it's like my soul is sipping some hot chocolate some warm tea in front of a fire that's what it feels like my full my soul my very soul is drinking a little bit of hot chocolate Okay, I think it's time for me to take out the drone. Hopefully I don't fall. I'm standing on my boat. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's do that. Wow, I was recording with the uh, with the remote and seeing the screen. What I was able to see, you, I went up 500 feet. I took it to the maximum altitude, 500, sorry, 500 meters, all the way up in the air. You guys saw how huge the lake was. I did the little the little uh, roundabout shot, and you guys saw how massive, massive this place is. It's just, it, you don't get it until you're in it, you know? <laughs> well, I believe I have achieved the main goal that I wanted to do in this trip and it was to capture this gigantic and massive lake for you all to enjoy and for those of you who want to check out this lake and come around uh, apparently there's some good fishing to be done here apparently and uh, I wouldn't know because I don't fish honestly so and I apologize for that I'm you know not really a, a fisherman but I'm, I'm an outdoorsman and I like I love adventures so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna head back and meet with my friend Jason I don't know what we're gonna do now, guys. I think I've covered mostly everything out of this park. I'm hungry though. I probably could go some, get some snacks before I get dinner. Anyway, we'll see what comes up next. I'm going to do a small experiment, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the timer. No, more like stopwatch. I wanna see how long it'll take for me to head back because I mean, I, I average about 12 miles per hour or so, 12 to 14. I'm in the middle of the lake. I want to see how long it takes me to go back. Give you guys like a like an idea, you know, what to expect. I'm sure you guys may have a faster boat. Maybe one like mine. Still, this should give you an idea. Let me, get, let me do a little experiment. Okay, so I caught up with my friend Jason. We're near the bridge. So, we, you know, going back to the uh, state park. And it took me 29 minutes. Let me see. There it is. 29.03. I figured it'll take me about 30 minutes. I, I think I sent you a message. I'll be there in 30 yeah. Roughly, that, I figured that's how much it'll take me. So it took me 30 minutes from the middle of the lake to here. Again, I don't have a very fast boat. 
But anyway, now we're just gonna improvise whatever comes next. So yeah. All right, so right now, we're gonna head back to the campsite and uh, I'm towing Jason again. There he is. Yeah, yeah, great paddling, sir. <laughs> Paddle ma ma maestro. That's skill set. Good skill set indeed, look at that. <laughs> yeah, he's helping, he's helping. <laughs> All right, now we head to the campsite. All right, everybody, so we went to this local bar called Legends. Miss, uh, Mr. Jason here took me over there. Cool people, man, cool people, loved them. And we got ourselves some burgers and some onion rings and cheese sticks. What have we got in there? Some wings. Manly food. Manly food. <laughs> Manly food. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got some big explosive wings. Explosive. Right here. Oh, shit. Let's check this out. Oh, oh man. Explosive. You don't need any laxatives with this. None. Oh, laxatives, what? Cheese sticks. Cheese sticks. Oh. oh, Eric, you got to unveil your burger. Oh, my freaking unveil burger, your baby. Burger, baby. Let's see how this goes, man. These people are fancy. Wait, wait, I gotta I got I gotta do the uh, the sound effects. Oh, that's a real Oh yes! We got onion rings. Onion rings. Oh, we got everything. Yes. It's gonna go down. So what I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go eat. Then I'm gonna show you guys the bonfire when we ready when it's fully dark. And I think I'll conclude with that. I'll conclude the video with that. Ladies and gentlemen, children, boys and girls, the time has come. Let me see if I can actually, you guys can see me. <sighs> Evening has arrived. We have ate a lot. Drink a little bit as well. So I'm going to conclude this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got my Pikachu hat on. It's getting a little chilly. I don't know if you guys can see my breath, but it's getting cold. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys on the next one.